From time to time when making logic tech support calls, I see that the loop browser sometimes becomes corrupted. The Apple loops index is corrupted and beats or loops can't be found or they're not all showing up in the library here. So what you need to do is re-index them. And this is a two-step process. The first step involves deleting the old indexes and the second step is re-indexing them. I'm gonna to switch to the finder and I have an open finder window here. And to remove the Apple Loops index, you need to navigate to your global library folder in audio, Apple Loops. This is where all the Apple Loops will appear, by the way, from the default installation with Logic and GarageBand. But you go to the Apple Loops index folder and delete those. I'm not going to delete mine now because my index isn't corrupted and I don't want to rebuild it. But you select those and delete it. And to make sure, check the same directory in your user folder. So users, and then you go to your user library folder, audio, same thing, your Apple Loops, you'll have your custom Apple Loops in there if you do have any, and custom Apple Loops index. I currently don't have any right now, but trash them if they're in there. So once this is trashed, Logic will show you that there are no Apple Loops available in the Loop Browser. What you need to do is go back and drag them in from the Finder. So I'm going to go to my global library folder where all my Apple Loops are, and take each library. I prefer taking them one at a time so as not to choke the system but drag them one at a time over the body of the loop browser there and release the mouse. And again, I'm not doing it on my system right now, but drag them over there and a little progress bar will appear and they'll get re-indexed. Drag them one at a time and then finally they should all appear under your menu over here. So that's how you re-index the Apple loop browser to update your loops that are available for you.